Hey guys, it's me, Saren, back with another video. Today is day 15 of Hidden Figures, and today's hidden figure is Storm de la Vie, who was born December 24th, 1920, and died May 24th, 2014, and was an American woman known as the Butch Lesbian, whose scuffle with police was the spark that ignited the Stonewall riots. She is remembered as a gay civil rights icon and entertainer who performed with the groundbreaking drag show the Jewel Box Review in the 1950s and 60s. She also worked for much of her life as a bouncer, bodyguard, and volunteer street patrol worker called the Guardian of Lesbians in the Village. She is known as the Rosa Parks of the gay community. Storm de la Vie was born in New Orleans on Christmas Eve of 1920. As a child, she faced bullying and harassment, with her father ultimately sending her away to private school for her own safety. She rode Jumping Horse's side saddle with the Ringling Brothers Circus when she was a teenager, but stopped riding after being injured in a fall. She realized she was a lesbian near the age of 18, leaving New Orleans out of fear that she would be murdered there for her sexuality. She moved to Chicago, where in the 1940s, she began to sing and perform as Stormy Dale while dressed as a woman. In 1946, while in Miami visiting the Jewel Box Review, she was offered a job with the famous drag show. Initially hired for six months, her run stretched on 14 years, and from 1955 to 1969, she toured the black theater circuit as the MC and only drag king of the Jewel Box Review. The Jewel Box was North America's first racially integrated drag review, and it regularly played the Apollo Theater in Harlem as well as to mixed race audiences. She performed as a baritone in traditionally masculine attire, often wearing tailored suits and sometimes a mustache that made her unidentifiable as a woman to audience members. Performing under the name King Storm, De La Vie is considered one of the first drag kings with a highly influential drag style. She preferred to dress androgynously offstage as well, and was photographed by Diane Arbus in three-piece suits and men's hats. De La Vie and her show became so celebrated that she began circulating in highly respected circles, considering artists like Diana Washington and Billie Holiday to be friends and influences. On June 28, 1969, a scuffle broke out at the Stonewall Inn between police and patrons of the notorious bar. A woman fought with police, shouting and swearing and prompting a crowd of bystanders to rebel against police in an uprising that came to be known as the Stonewall Riots, largely recognized as the start of the contemporary gay liberation movement. According to many witnesses in Storm herself, she was the woman fighting with police, described as a typical New York City butch lesbian. De La Vie remained a noted figure in the LGBT scene of New York, and in the 1980s and 90s, she worked as a bouncer for several lesbian bars in New York City. She was a founding member of the Stonewall Veterans Association, holding the offices of Chief of Security, Ambassador, and eventually Vice President. De La Vie would also continue to sing and perform at charity events and fundraisers around New York for battered women and children and victims of violence and domestic abuse. For decades, De La Vie also served the community as a vigilante called a lesbian superhero and volunteer street patrol worker. She described herself as a babysitter of my people, all the boys and girls, and in her obituary in the New York Times, she was called the guardian of lesbians in the village. And I'm going to read you guys like a little blurb excerpt um, from her obituary. Tall, androgynous, and armed, she held a state gun permit. Miss de la Vie roamed Lower 7th and 8th Avenues and points between into her 80s, patrolling the sidewalks and checking in at lesbian bars. She was on the lookout for what she called ugliness, any form of intolerance, bullying, or abuse of her girls. She literally walked the streets of downtown Manhattan like a gay superhero. She was not to be messed with by any stretch of the imagination. De La Vie suffered from dementia in her later years, and from 2010 until her death in 2014, she lived in a nursing home in Brooklyn. She died in her sleep on May 24, 2014, and a funeral was held at the Greenwich Village Funeral Home. In 1987, a movie about De La Vie and her time with the review entitled Storm, The Lady of the Jewel Box, was released. 
On June 7, 2012, Brooklyn Pride honored Storm at the Brooklyn Society for Ethical Culture. And in June 2019, Delavier was one of the inaugural 50 American pioneers, trailblazers, and heroes inducted on the National LGBTQ Wall of Honor within the Stonewall National Monument in New York City. It is the first U.S. national monument dedicated to LGBT rights in history. In 2001, a documentary called A Storm Life was released on Storm de la Vie, where she stated, I am a human being that survived, and I helped other people survive, too. And that's Stormy de la Vie, a hidden figure. I knew all about the Stonewall riots, but I never knew until I learned about Storm de la Vie very recently that the first person to throw the punch, the first punch of the Stonewall riot was this black lesbian woman so hopefully you guys enjoyed this one there will be links and information in the description box but for that as always see you guys tomorrow with another hidden figure we're more than halfway through hidden figures i can't believe it but i'll see you guys tomorrow peace